I am Poppy. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. People ask me why I started Macbang. Hola, amigos. Hi. Say hi, Mama. Hi. <laughs> okay, say bye, Mama. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye, Mama. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> For today's Macbang, we're going to try Almond Dream Vanilla Flavored. I've never tried this. I've tried, I think, the Almond Dream Milk but never their ice cream. And then I have some tropical snacks as well. Uh, I'm not sure why I have this. I, uh, <laughs> I just thought maybe it would be fun for, you know, put, put it on top just to get some crunch. So let's try it, guys. I'm excited. Ooh, tell me if you guys have tried this. Wow, that's actually good. Mm. I'm not that into vanilla, guys, but this one is good. I'm going to try it with some crunch uh, because this is like very like plain. It's vanilla. It's plain. Uh, so it's more fun to add some crunch to it, you know, so let's try. Mmm really good so the shout out of the day goes to poppy chandler shout out to you poppy and your name totally reminds me of i'm poppy i'm poppy i'm poppy i am poppy i'm poppy i'm poppy i'm poppy i'm poppy i am poppy <laughs> that video is driving me insane guys uh, but yeah you remind me of her uh, go down below you guys and say hi to Poppy and Poppy <laughs> and also uh, if you guys want a shout out subscribe and tell me down below and then I will give you a shout out mm. tell me down below guys do you bite your ice cream like when you eat it do you just like you know roll it around your mouth until it melts or do you actually chew on it I kind of roll it and then chew on it a bit but it does give you a bit like it, it hurts your teeth a bit so I don't do it too much so good so I got some questions the other day I think uh, from some people asking me why I started mukbang and why I like it like why am I doing it why why do I enjoy it stuff like that so funny thing is Growing up, every time I was home alone, I always wished there was a TV show where there was somebody, you know, around my age, I was like 10 by this, you know, back in this time. Um, and I was thinking, what if I, I could like watch a TV show where they were talking to me as if I were their friend so that I wasn't, you know, eating by myself. And little did I know, a few years after, <laughs> that mukbang would start popping up. So. Kind of sad I didn't start when I was 10 because if I started when I was 10 then I could have invented it you know oh that would be cool but I wasn't smart enough and I didn't have a camera back then I don't think <laughs> so and YouTube didn't hmm hmm YouTube didn't even exist back then I don't think <laughs> I'm so old <laughs> so when I got older, so when we lived in Denmark, I was like, how old was I? 20? Something like that. I think I was 20 when I first discovered it. So I saw it on YouTube. A random girl was eating marabou ice cream because I was looking for videos where people were eating marabou ice cream, which is a Swedish ice cream. Because I really started missing it. And I wanted to see somebody else eat it because I was missing it so much. I just wanted to see somebody else enjoy it. And I saw this one girl, I don't remember her name, she was Swedish and she was eating it, she wasn't talking, she was watching a TV show while she was eating. Uh, and she was just eating, you know, and it fascinated me so much. But then months after, like, I, started, I stopped watching her and then months after, like, my mom started doing ASMR videos. We discovered ASMR, which I also actually discovered, which is so funny because the reason why she started ASMR is because I discovered ASMR uh, and then she enjoyed it too. So, or did I discover it? 
I think I did. I'm not sure. But Mako, I'm sure I was the one who found it. And so, when my mom made ASMR videos, and um, I would sometimes join her in her ASMR videos, but just, you know, whispering in the background, you know? Um, I was fine doing that. Like, it was fine. It was fun and stuff. But I would never be able to do it, like, on my own channel because I feel so awkward when I'm whispering. <laughs> so, I decided, or my mom actually told me that I should do it. Um, I decided to make mukbang videos instead because it's kind of like ASMR but you can talk in your normal voice um, I really started enjoying it because this is like I was oops I was talking to Audrey about this and this is something where it helps both the mukbangist, the youtuber and the viewers because like right now I'm home alone have nobody eat, to eat ice cream with uh, so I'm like who am I going to eat ice cream with oh I can eat with my viewers like it's the best thing it's like I'm eating with my best friends it's like we're having a slumber party and that's why I would love it so much because food food is a universal language like we all love it like I have not met a single person who doesn't have a favorite type of food Basically everyone loves to eat food. The people who don't are on a diet, but they still have food. They just don't want to get fat like, you know, what I'm doing right now, which is probably going to get me fat, but no. Um, so that's why I love it because when you're home alone, it's not fun to eat alone. Like, it's so sad to see people eat alone. When I'm home alone and I'm eating by myself, it's so sad. So I always have to put on a video, I usually watch David Dobrik, Jason Nash, or any of those um, people, <laughs> like any of my favorite YouTubers, because I cannot stand just eating and there being no sound, like, I really don't like it. When I eat food, I need some sort of, I need somebody there to eat with me, or I need a video to play, because I cannot stand the quietness <laughs> and when we're eating like the whole family sometimes I like I wish we could all put the TV on but my mom has done this crazy rule where we, where we can't put the TV on um, because she wants to connect you know which I guess I get but it's so quiet like when we're eating yeah we're talking and stuff but there's a, of course like there's parts where we're not talking and I just want some sort of noise in the background because I cannot stand it being so quiet. I cannot stand like eating and hearing everyone eating and then, I, I don't know. It's a weird thing. <laughs> I just like that to, for, I mean, I'm not going to look at the TV, but I just want to hear the noise. Um, <laughs> I think that would be like a rule in my house. When I have a house, there would be a rule where the TV has to be on when we're eating <laughs> and not for us to look at like it's okay if you look at it I'm not a very strict person like I don't think when I have kids I, obviously I could change my mind but like, people say this probably too and then they get kids and then they're like oh no you cannot watch TV but I feel like I would be more like let them watch TV while we eat which is probably a bad thing but maybe what I would do I would put the TV on in another room or even just music you know just want some sort of noise so yeah that is why that's a long answer why I like mukbang but yeah that's why I like mukbang because I cannot stand it being too quiet and it's a weird thing do you guys have that like um, when we're at restaurants I'm fine where there where that there's no TV because there's loud you know noise in the background from the other people um, but I feel really awkward eating and it being too quiet. Are you guys like that? That's why I had such a hard time in kindergarten. And we would be eating and it would be so quiet. Because, you know, we were, it was 6 a.m. in the morning. Everyone were talking so quietly and it was too quiet. I could not swallow my food. Like, that's just how I am. Like, I cannot handle it when it's too quiet. 
it's no it's a weird thing I have uh, I didn't eat breakfast in kindergarten because of that well <laughs> so yeah I'm pretty strange when it comes to food <sighs> what do you get what are you guys is weird things when it comes to food tell me down below by the way I know I don't have a job yet but I'm I've always done this since I was like really young, started to think about my own house, like what the rules would be, what you can and cannot do. I'm excited because it's going to be so wonderful. <laughs> I mean, obviously it would be, it will be hard because, you know, you would, I would be the one to pay the bills and all of that stuff. But the good thing is, you can do your own rules, like I would be able to make a rule where you are allowed to watch TV when you're eating. That would be one of the rules. Then, mm, I will for sure put in a built-in speaker in the shower, Bluetooth speaker, so that I could listen to my favorite music whilst I'm in the shower. Yes, oh my god. What else? I'm thinking about stuff that I cannot do <laughs> in this house that I would do in that house. I would have music on 24 7, definitely. I would have a dog. Yes. For some reason, guys, like it's not a new thing that I love animals, but ever since Pinky passed away, I've been like, it's like I'm having withdrawals because even though we weren't with Pinky, I knew he was like in Denmark and having fun, you know. But when he passed away, I'm like, I feel so sad. Like I, I, I want a furry friend. It's not because I want to replace him, but I want to help another furry friend out, you know. Uh, even if it's just fostering a dog, a cat, a bunny, I really don't care. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I can't. That's the biggest thing that hurts because when it comes to traveling, because I can't foster a dog or a cat or anything because I'm traveling. I can't bring them with me, you know. And my mom, she's allergic to to dogs, guys. So I still couldn't. But if I had my own house, then I could have a dog. But just foster because I don't think I will ever adopt. Not because I don't want to, but because it would be hard to travel and stuff, you know. And when you foster, you're helping out more animals. Because the dog you're fostering or cat or bunny will stay with you until they find a home for them. And then you would like learn so much about the dog. You can give the information to the new owner. Like it would help so many animals. So um, I would love that. As soon as I get a job and you know, settle with and either have a house or apartment or whatever, I will do that for sure. I've already done so much, and you know. I was watching earlier videos of exercises that I could do and I was like wait what's more important mukbang or exercise mukbang <laughs> so probably not a good thing after this though I will wait like one hour so I don't throw up I will still do the exercises I wonder how many calories this is <laughs> mm. Uh, 140 calories per serving there's four servings in this so you guys can do the math it's a lot <laughs> um, but I will try to burn that off and also tell me why do you guys watch let's flip it around why do you guys watch mukbang videos I would love to learn to learn about that because I feel like most people watch so that they aren't alone when they're eating you know um, like 50 or 50 so half watch so they're not alone and the other half watch because they're on a diet <laughs> because those are usually 
the reasons why I watch. I'm never on a diet, but sometimes I'm like, I should probably not eat ice cream today. Uh, so I watch somebody else eat ice cream instead. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. It's up to here now, guys. It was up to here earlier, so... Whoopsie! I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. I'm actually excited to go to Manila. I love the Philippines, so I'm excited. I'm just shy because I will miss my mom and I will miss the US and I will even miss, you know, my room and, you know, even Michael and Chelsea. Like, it will be weird to leave. Even though I've only been here for like two months, but I feel so home. I feel like that I'm at home. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please go down below and subscribe to this channel. Are you will turn on the post notifications so you guys know when I'm watching and what but up but what when I'm uploading a new video. Thanks guys and I'm not Poppy. I'm Maria and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> that sounded so weird. Adios amigos. Woo!